everyone, I am in Jerry from Onyx Pages. I have spent the last two minutes laughing at myself because I think this is like the fourth take of this video and I thought it was gonna be really quick. Okay, so this video is about my 2018 channel goals for Onyx Pages. I started this channel in uh, August of 2017 and it's been a wonderful experience. I've met so many um, amazing booktubers uh, as a result and um, I actually I'm gonna give a few shout outs. Um, first and foremost is uh, to Perpetual Pages. Uh, their channel is amazing. Um, their reviews of books uh, completely breathtaking and I've, I've learned so much and in fact I decided to start the channel because I found Perpetual Pages uh, channel because I was searching one of the books that I was reading in the solar powered Afrofuturism slow reading group. Um, after that I met a couple of others so Alicia from Pretty Brown Eye Reader, who's amazing, Charles from Sir Book Sage, uh, again, a really amazing human being. Um, I love Alicia's giggle. I love how well read she is. I love how much she supports other booktubers. I love Charles's um, selection of books. He's a sci-fi buff like me and he's been reading for 40 years, which I think is incredible. His depth of, of knowledge of the literature is so great and his openness to doing new things is wonderful. Um, Maya from Maya Reads uh, is uh, she's she takes a very intellectual uh, approach. I love her uh, her poise and her humor. I love the fact that she reads diversely and that she um, is just really just really comfortable with pointing out a number of different aspects of, of diverse books and still critiquing them, not giving them a blight because they're diverse. Uh, Denise from Arts. Art Books Live is so funny. Her voice is like whiskey, which I really appreciate. She's very comforting to listen to um, and has a really unique approach by doing a lot of live videos. Um, so I've recently got to know her a little bit. Um, and also um, Rincy from Rincy Reads. I um, Somebody that I, sh I started watching her booktube channel earlier on as well. Um, and I just love how long she's been doing the work and how just, um, straightforward she is about what she's reading there's really sort of no frills you just get the you get the books you get the uh, commentary and it's great there are a number of other um, booktubers who I'm getting to know a little bit better and um, I just wanted to shout out those few folks and I'm gonna be doing more shout outs in my videos going forward okay um, let me get to my list and hopefully not giggle okay so these are my channel goals for 2018. Number one, I'd like to do at least five author spotlights. Last year I did one with Nalo Hopkinson. I've got two so far booked for 2018 and I'd like to at least do three more. I love them because it's a great opportunity to read uh, just one author's work and to talk to the author about what they're doing. It's a great way um, for me to help these authors promote their work and to show a little bit more gratitude for what they've spent their lives or at least months or years um, uh, of their life thinking about and writing so I really get a lot of pleasure out of doing that so I hope to do five author spotlights this year second goal is I'd like to integrate my Goodreads uh, activity with my booktube activity I didn't realize how integrated uh, booktube and Goodreads can can be uh, so if you have a very vibrant Goodreads life that has been integrated in your booktube life and you have tips on how I can do that please I would really appreciate your thoughts right now I've um I've joined a number of Goodreads books. I reach out to people on Goodreads. I exchange messages. That's where I do my buddy reads. Um, so if there are groups that you think as a new book booktuber I should join, I'd really appreciate your thoughts and your suggestions. You can leave them in the comments uh, below this video. I'd also like to integrate uh, my solar powered Afrofuturism slow reading group, which uses the F Facebook platform. I'd like to integrate that with this channel as well. So um, we read primarily Afrofuturism, science fiction, fantasy, magical realism, and we haven't read horror yet, but I'm going to put that in there as well. Um, primarily written within the Afrofuturism genre and primarily written by people of color, black black people, people of color, indigenous folks. And the group is queer oriented. Um, it is open to those who are willing to be allies and who are willing to speak and to appreciate the queer standpoint because that is 
sorely lacking in, in book reviews and book discussions. Um, and so I'd like to find a way to connect what's happening there with what's happening on this uh, channel. If you, ha if you have a, a, a group, as a reading group as well, and you use another platform, if you have ideas on how you've been able to connect it, that would be really great. Like Squibbles Reads, for example, she's got the Squibbles Reads, um, the s Stories with Squibble Squibbles uh, Reading Club that's on Goodreads, and she speaks about it on her channel. Um, so I'd like to figure that out. And I think Crescent Moon has um, the Hot Mess Book Club, and I think um, Marina, um, Marinas from um, my name is Marinas has like read with Marinas and that's on good good read so if you have ideas on, on how to do that I'd really appreciate appreciate your thoughts there uh, okay I I'd like to continue the Kwanzaa tag that I started this year so um, I had a couple of uh, booktubers upload videos already related to the tag so uh, the first one that came out was Alicia from Pretty Brown Eye Reader and the second was Charles from Sir Book Sage. I will link uh, their videos in the um, description area below um, but I would like to definitely continue the Kwanzaa uh, tag and if you are thinking of participating you have another day it ends on January 1st so please upload your videos and you can link um, a link to your video in the comments section if I haven't mentioned your name but please participate because I think it's a great uh, tag and it actually sorry reading challenge and it actually doesn't require any new reading so that's a bonus um, I would also like to participate in five readathons uh, next year. So in 2018, I did the gra Get Graphic Readathon, and I also did the. Um, uh, I think that's no, that's actually all I did. All I did was a Get Graphic Readathon, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I find that readathons can be a little bit of a pressure just because um, I have a really busy work life, and so my reading available reading times can sometimes be inconsistent so um, I'm gonna try and, and participate in more readathons this year and more like booktube related collective actions so one that I'm really super excited about is uh, the blackout 2018 which is run by and which was founded by Denise at um, Art Books Live and um, Denise is going to be reading all African American authors for the year of 2018 now I've still I'm still figuring out how I'm going to participate in that readathon because as uh, as somebody who lives in Canada of Trinidadian descent, um, I throughout my life most of the books, the Black history books and the authors and so on that I've read and consumed are African American, and I had actually set a goal for myself to um, read outside of African American literature and focus on uh, the continent of Africa and the various African diasporas, particularly the Caribbean, Latin America, and, um, and the UK. Um, so I have to figure out how I do that. I may do the um, Blackout 2018 for a couple months of 2018 and then spend the rest of the months uh, reading outside of um, North America. So I'm still figuring that out. But if you'd like to participate, um, I'll leave a link to her uh, video where she describes uh, Blackout 2018 so that you can find out more and decide how you'd like to participate. I'm also going to be participating in Read So Lit, which is organized by Dee Dee at Brown Girl Reading. And um, this is, they're going to be reading, uh, we, we, because I'm a part, I'm a part, I'm a part of it. So we are going to be reading Tar Baby uh, in February as part of uh, Black History Month, which I celebrate as African Liberation Month. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, reading Tar Baby and uh, reading with the group. So, yes. The next goal that I have is to have more real-time connections with other readers, either on BookTube or outside of BookTube. So in Toronto, um, I like getting together on, on silent reading dates, just having tea and reading together quietly in different parts of the city. I've been really enjoying that. Um, I also want to have more online connections with people. So um, I've, I had some great, amazing buddy reads with Alicia from Pretty Brown Eye Reader, um, who is just fantastic and has like, the best giggle. I probably said that. She's got the best laugh. She's, she's pure sunshine and brains. <laughs> 
Um, and uh, she's also got a book club at, at the library in her in her neighborhood. Um, but and I also I'm in the midst of um, a book read with Maya of Maya Reads. I'm going to be doing one with Charles of Sir Book Sage. And so I'd like to do more of that just to get to know uh, people. So if ever you watch one of my TBRs and I'm reading a book that you've planned to read around the same time period, please reach out. I just um, I, I will read with others because that's what I'm here for. Um, OK, and. Oh, I've lost my my phone keeps on like doing this so I don't even have my notes on me anymore okay oh my next is uh, my next goal is that I want to support newer channels so I think I, I I have set a goal that my channel will have 200 subscribers by the end of 2018 I think I'm 10 subscribers shy of this so if you're not subscribed like just please subscribe that would be great. Anyway, I'd like to support uh, newer booktubers because as certainly as a black female queer booktuber, when I first came on the scene, it was really difficult to find other uh, black YouTubers, let alone black queer female YouTubers who are out. Um, and so I just, I just feel like the struggle is real when you get into this community. There's a lot of pressure to like buy a lot of books, read super quickly, um, know what you're doing, have great equipment, like all of that. There's just a lot. And so I really want to spend time encouraging new new booktubers who um, are just coming out to like grow their help grow their channels and stuff like that. And so um, one particular new booktuber who I'm really excited to see her reading is um, V as in Venetia, and so I'll link her channel. Um, she just started her channel, I think, about a month ago. And um, there's also Diana, and I, I forget her channel name, but I think that she's in the UK um, somewhere, and she just started her channel. So just some really great um, younger um, in life, but also like younger new tubers, new to, to YouTube. And I just want to um, support support them to just stick with it. Okay, and um, the final the final goal is that I'd like to, I definitely wanna grow my channel, but I wanna focus on quality over quantity. And I say that even as I've, I've just collected more books. Um, and there's, there's a couple things I wanna say about that. And I'd like to point you to um, a video that the Minimalist Reader um, put out on book hauls. And I think she had some really insightful things to say about consumerism. And one of the things that I noticed when I was watching some of the, the larger booktube channels was that um, folks be buying books like all the time, right? Like you know, monthly book hauls of like 15 and 20 books. And, you know, I'd, I'd watch a book haul and the booktuber might say, you know, I don't know what this is about. I just bought it because it was pretty and I hope I like it. And maybe I will get to it. Maybe I won't. And I think like that's sort of not how I purchase books. Um, I pur purchase a very specific uh, genre of books, Afrofuturism books. They're typically written by uh, black folks. I try to support um, black queer writers uh, because I think those writers have um, an amazing contribution to give and that these writers are not getting the kind of play uh, that other writers are getting. So for example, like um, just, I mean, Octavia Butler is no longer with us, but um, her, she started writing in the 70s and her, I think 60s or 70s, um, and her work is exquisite, but I, I don't see a lot of um, channels reading her work. Nalo Hopkinson is an absolutely brilliant writer, N.K. Jemisin, um, brilliant, Nadia Okorafor, brilliant, um, and those writers, I don't see people reading their work. Um, but we have other writers who are great and who are just mass producing stories and they've got the machine behind them. And we've got over a thousand book, booktubers um, reading their books. And so I've decided that I'm going to support a particular corner of the literary world and I'm gonna do what I can to get more people reading their books and to honoring the contributions that they make to our society because what they're writing about is it's life changing. So why not support it?
But getting back to quality over quantity and the question of consumerism, I want to just not focus on buying all the time and instead making sure that I'm reading what I'm purchasing and that I'm talking about what I'm reading so that I'm actually fulfilling the goal of the channel. And the reason why I was talking about um, the Minimalist Reader's video is because she talks about um, you know, being mindful about where you're spending your money and how you're spending your money. And that's actually one of the principles of Kwanzaa as well, cooperative, ec um, cooperative economics, where are you putting your dollars? I don't wanna spend $40 or $20 or $10 or even $1 on a book and then I see it and it's home and then I buy it I take it I read it and it's homophobic or it's transphobic or it's racist like I don't I don't want to be spending my money in that way um, So that's a bit of a rant that way, but the goal is focusing on quality I want to provide better reviews. I want to be more knowledgeable about the anatomy of stories I want to be more eloquent in the way that I talk about what I like I want to be more balanced in the way that I talk about what I don't like I'd like this channel to provide a service um, in addition to being a creative outlet for my own personal literary expression Okay I have a lot of goals. I'm glad that I got through this without giggling so much. Uh, thank you so much for watching. For those of you uh, who are uh, among the first 190 um, uh, subscribers to my channel, thank you very much. Every time I read your comments, every time I see that somebody has liked a video that I've put together, every time that I see that somebody has taken uh, a risk and you know, um, given me a vote of their confidence by subscribing to this channel, I smile. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. And I hope that you stick around. I hope that you uh, participate in conversations. I hope that um, your channels and your creative pursuits are equally as uh, honored and shared with others. So thank you very much. Happy Kwanzaa. Thank you for watching this. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Take two. Actually, take three. <laughs> this is not going as I'd planned. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, hi everyone, I'm in Jerry. I am completely laughing at myself because this is the third take um, of this, what I thought was going to be a very simple video. Okay, so hopefully it'll be more concise. This video is about my 2018 <laughs> reading goals, not reading. <laughs> oh God, I'm a hot mess. Okay. This is my, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> okay, <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, take 11. <laughs>